Good morning. I'm Stampin' Dee Dee. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is Stampin' Thursday. And I am so glad to be here with you. I look forward to Stampin' Thursday all week long. And I'm, I'm constantly thinking, what can I do? What have I learned? What do I enjoy doing that I can share with my stamping friends? And so... Today, I saw this um, on a YouTube, I think just this week, and I'm always looking for ways, of course, to use my designer series paper and to showcase it, and this card really showcases these designer series papers that um, have a scene on them, and we're going to look at several different um the use using several different ones that have a scene, but I pulled these out. Um, these I didn't use, but I could have. The um, Hello Irresistible papers would be perfect for this technique because, you know, I, I I hate to cut these up because the scene is so beautiful. So. This is, these are some that could be used with this technique. And then, of course, our Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper gives you another one that has a seam and could be used with this technique. So let's look at what we're talking about. Let me move these away. And let me bring out, this one is made with the um, Masterfully Minded. So this is the card and opens up to showcase the whole scene of um, flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? And I mean, it just it does a beautiful job of showcasing the whole thing. Now, if you're using, let me grab one of these again. If you're using a designer of a six by six, all you would do is cut three quarters of an inch off the top. And then the rest of it would be displayed on your card. So you're displaying, you're utilizing the whole sheet. Now, some of the cards I did were from 12 by 12 paper. So let's look at some of those. Well, this is another six by six. This is the um, autumn. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't look at that one. Um, it, is. it is all about autumn. Uh, all about autumn. So this is one that has some beautiful papers in it, several, more than just this one. Look at that. Is that not awesome? I love that. I love being able to use the whole and display the whole sheet of paper on a card. All right. So, All About Autumn, um, Masterfully Made, and then this one uses the Oh Holy Night. And, oh, no, no, it does not. It does not use the Oh Holy Night. This one is the um, Winter Meadow. Winter Meadow. Oh Holy Night was another one that could be used with this, with this technique. But I hesitated to use it because I have some ideas. I'm getting a live signal. I don't know what happened there. Okay, here we are. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> I'll keep these down. So, look, isn't that, isn't that just perfect? I love that. And I did add some gems to this one. So, those are just three of the papers that I was able to use. And I'm, I've already got some picked out that I want to, that I want to use. So, all right, so what we're going to do is use a, another scenic piece of paper and make, I'm going to show you how to make these. They are so easy. You're going to love it. So 
First of all, if you are watching, thank you so much. If you're watching live, thank you for doing that. And I would love it if you would um, just say hi and and um, tell me what papers you would want to use with this or or um, if you like this or just just um, shout out at me so that I know that you're on here watching. And if you're watching the replay, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And I would love to hear from you too. Or if you're watching it on YouTube. So I appreciate my, my viewers so much. That's why I do this. I don't do it for me. I do it for my viewers. And I'm going to get this straight because it bothers me. <laughs> All right, the paper that we're gonna use for the one we're gonna make is from um, Them Bones. And I have, I, I'm not a Halloween person, which is the funny thing, but I have really enjoyed using this set. Good morning, Kay. How are you this morning? Thank you for being here. All right. I was hoping you were watching. All right. So we're going to use them bones. We're going to use um, this paper. And I'm going to have to decide, since it's a 12 by 12, I'm going to have to decide which part of it. I think I want to get the, the moon in. So... Our, our designer series paper is five and a quarter by six. So it's five and a quarter tall. Let's go ahead and get our tall first. And so what I'll do is look at it. So that's really perfect. That's perfect. That's five and a quarter and it's by six. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that on the five and a quarter line and I've cut it about to the six inch mark. So let's see, here's our six inch mark and we're cutting down here. So I'll go ahead and cut that and I'll have to give it a little bit of a snip. All right, so I've got lots of this left to make more of these. Let me set it aside. Now, we have to make two more cuts. We're going to cut this at two and three quarters. Oh, that's going to cut my moon right in half. I should have thought about that. Well, that's all right. It'll show. Two and three quarters. And then another cut. Oops. There we go. Another cut at one and one eighth. So we make a two and three quarters cut and another cut at one and one eighth. And that's our three pieces that we're going to use to make this card. So I'm gonna set these aside now and we need to get our card stock. Now card stock is your normal eight and a half by five and a half. So let me cut this at five and a half. Then we're gonna score it at one and a half Score it at one and a half and at four and a quarter. All right. That's all we need that for. That's all that, well, we do have to die cut our sentiment, but all right. So I'm going to fold this in half. Use my bone folder. Give it a good crease, and I want this to be really creased well. Give it a good crease, and then I'm gonna fold it back on this score line, and give it a good crease again. Okay. Now, all we have to do is glue our paper on. How easy is that? So the first piece, is this one, and it is gonna go right here. You're gonna leave an edge around it, 
and it'll hang over. So that's our first piece. And I've found the easiest way to do it is make sure you don't get the edge, but it'll come right up to this edge. So you can bring it to this edge, down, then leave an edge, and leave an edge there. And that should do it. So I'm gonna leave an equal edge at the top and the bottom and the side. And that gives us this little edge over here. And we've got our first piece in. Make sure it's down. Now we're ready for our second piece. And it is going to go right here. Right here. And when we get that down, then our moon will be back together again. All right. So this one I can just do on this. Just put some liquid glue on it. This is a really easy card. And then I'm going to fold that under just to get it out of my way. And I'm going to butt this up against the fold with just a little. And I want to make sure that I've got my edges here even. And they are. And I'm making sure that I have my, my fold or my edge here even. All right, there we go. There's that. Looks like I need to move it this way just a little bit. Let's see how that does. A little more. Not sure why that's uneven, but we'll get it there. There we go. Maybe even a little more. Well, that's going to have to work. All right. I'm not sure why that's uneven. I don't know. Maybe I didn't cut this even. You know? I'm going to bring it back over a little bit so it's not quite, so it's just going to have to be a little uneven right there. Nobody's going to notice that but me. <laughs> oh, I know what I didn't cut. I didn't cut my white piece, so we will be cutting again. All right, and so this is our third piece, and we're just going to glue on the edge of it. And it's going to go, and you want to butt it right up against this one as close as you can to the fold. And leaving the same edge. So right now, here we have this. Isn't that awesome? And I do need to get a piece of white. I failed to do that. So I need a piece of white that is one and three quarter by five and a fourth. So that one is going to be close. Let me get my trimmer. One and three quarter. By five and a fourth. Five and a quarter. Okay. Now we have that. And that, of course, is the space that you can write on. And you want to get it right up against your designer series paper as much as you can so that when you close this, your white doesn't show. Um, and that took some doing for me to figure that out. But my white shows on my first card or two, but that's all right. You probably didn't even notice it, did you? All right. So I'm going to make sure the top and bottom are even. And I'm going to make sure that this is even. This one is a little off because this one was off. I don't know why. All right. There we go. And when it closes, it covers your, your note that you've written. Isn't that, that is just to me, that is so cool. 
All right. So I'm going to use my bone folder one more time and give it a good crease. That really went fast, didn't it? I mean, that goes so fast. Now, I'm gonna get my card, my um, white, which is what I'm gonna use for my sentiment. I'm gonna get my mini cutting emboss out. Make a little noise. Go ahead and cut my sentiment out. And I am using this from Stitch So Sweetly, I think. And that's retired. But it went so well with this paper. I just had to use it. So, sometimes we drag our retired things out and, and love on them a little bit. And that's what I did with this. You could use anything. You could use any label whatsoever. And I am going to stamp it with Happy Halloween. Like I said, I'm not a Halloween. Per I don't send out. I don't do a lot of Halloween stuff. But I have three grandchildren, four grandchildren that are young. And they love getting Halloween cards. So I make them to send to them. So we're going to, I'm going to. Ink this a little more. I'm not sure I've used this Happy Halloween, so I want to make sure the first time I use it, I want to make sure it's inked up as much as it can. And I want to get this straight. There we go. Happy Halloween. And look how it, it really has the same sort of design as this. So I'm going to put my sentiment right there. And I'll use dimensionals to put it on. And, of course, it hangs over, so you don't want to get your dimensionals too far over that way. I'm going to put it right up here. I want my bat to show, and I want the top of this to show. So I'm going to put it right there. And I do want to use some twine. And what I decided to use was from the 2023-2025 um, In Color Jute Twine. And what I do is I separate it. it. It's in one, comes off in one strand like this. And then I just take it and I roll it on the end until it starts to separate. You have to work with it a little bit. But then once it does, you can take it and just unwind it. See, I'm unwinding it. There you go. Now you can see. I'm unwinding it, and as I unwind it, I pull the pieces apart. Can you see that? It, it's beginning to come apart. I'm not going to do any more on that one because I've already done it on this one. I want them, I want to have a little more of a frayed look. So I wanted them to be separate and you can just straighten them like this. But I like the crinkledy frayed look. All right, and I'm gonna tie a bow. And try to push these through all together so I don't get, get in trouble. <laughs> Oops, I think I just got in trouble. I did, I just got in trouble. I pulled it. A little bit too far. Okay, let's try this again. Twist these a little bit so they'll stay together now. 
Okay. You just have to be sure to catch all three of them. And that makes it a little bit more of a challenge, but it's worth it. It's worth it because it it just has this really frayed, let's see. I think I'm going to put it down here. I think I want it to show a little more than if I put it on the side. All right. And I'll use a glue dot to put that on. Gee, this card goes so fast. I'm thinking we might ought to do another one. What do you think? There we go. We'll put it right down there. And isn't that cool? I mean, that is... Now, you could add... There's bats, and uh, you could add some embellishments on it if you wanted to. But there it is. How cool is that? I love this pattern, this design. So, let me get my trash can over here. You know, we could, we could come up. Let me put these three out. And we could do one of those Hello Irresistibles. I could grab some flirty flamingo paper, maybe, or calypso coral. How about calypso coral? I could grab that. We could do another one real quick. What do you say? Let's do that. I mean, there is no reason not to. And I'll need a little bit of white for the edge. Let's see. Hmm. None of those are big enough. So how about I go with this? For the edge and I think it'll also work for the sentiment but I'll get another piece out just in case all right so here we go let's show just how fast this card goes so because this is six by six now we're going to cut a qu three quarters of an inch off of the top because I want all of the bottom on the card. So we've got that. Save that maybe for an envelope or something. And then, so our paper now is um, five and a quarter by six. So it's five and a quarter tall and six inches wide. All right, and so now we're going to cut, make two cuts, two and three quarters. Here we go, right here, two and three quarters. And one and one eighth. One and one eighth. Maybe I didn't get my paper up against the edge. When I cut that one, I went too fast, maybe. All right, there's those. And now we'll get our white paper cut, which is one and three quarter by five and a quarter. Hopefully this is five and a quarter. Yes, and so one and three quarters. There's our white, and we have that. We have some left over for the cinnamon. Our card base is just a normal card base. It is eight and a half by five and a half. So cut it, and then we have to score it at one and a half and at four and a quarter. One and a half and four and a quarter. Make sure you grab the score blade and not the cutting blade. All right. So we're going to fold it here and score it. And then we'll fold it back here and score it. And now we're going to put our designer series paper on. So this is the first piece, and it goes right here. So we'll put our glue on this piece and just not get too close to the outside edges. But we can get right up against that inside edge. And I'll put it down the middle just to be sure. Take our designer series paper, put it right there. 
All right, got that. <laughs> the next piece is the little one. And I'll just fold that over, put my glue on this. Put it up against the, and I'm going to bring this around so I can make sure I have the top and bottom even. Yeah, I do. And let's see. Um, make sure I get this even. It's pretty even. Even with the, the um, fold. All right, we have those two, and now we have this one to put in. Yeah, easy. Do you think it's easy? I mean, does it seem easy to you? It just goes so fast. Ah, unless you drop it on your, <laughs> unless you drop it on your card. All right. This one's a lot more even. I must have miscut. That other one somehow and then this we're gonna scooch it up close to the designer series paper and make sure yeah covers it up beautifully make sure it's even Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. There's our card. Now all we need is our sentiment piece. And I think for this, I'll go with the stylish shapes. Hmm. And I'll go with, I think I'm going to do this into a thank you card. So I don't need a whole lot. And I've got my... Um, the, um, which one is it? The go-to greetings. The go-to greetings has the three different sizes of each sentiment. And I want a thank you that will fit on this guy. That one does for sure. Let's see if this one, oh, I think this one will too. Yep, that's the one. So I'll use the middle one. And get a, an acrylic block out. It's got a piece of paper, and if I don't get it off, it'll stick on the other side and affect the way it looks. All right. So we'll just do this one in black since we don't have any other dark color dominant. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this right here. Make sure that this fits around it, and it does perfectly. So i away for the moment, bring my... Cut and emboss back in. Now, since I've already stamped it this time, I just wanted to make sure that it fit. Since I've already stamped it, I am going to use a little piece of washi tape and make sure that it doesn't move on me. Sentiment cut out. Static cling was holding it to the base, to the plate. Get my, well, I'll work. 
worry about that piece in a minute. Got that. I'm going to go ahead and put this up so I don't lose it. Don't ever want to lose my dies. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I'll put it up here. It covers less of the flowers up here. Don't you think? It's that blank space up there. Hmm, I don't know. What do you think? Where should it go? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe down here and then maybe put some embellishments up there. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to put two... Um, Dimensionals. And put it right in, sort of in between those flowers. So it's not covering as much of them up. Make sure I got it straight. Me and my straight. All right, now I need, because I decided on the fly to do this, I need to get some ribbon. But I've got some right here. This will work perfect. You know what? I've already got a bow tied. I tried to use this bow on a different card, and it didn't work. So I've already got my bow tied. <laughs> Lucky me. Now I've got to decide, though, where I want to put it. I need to pull this in just, or pull this one out a little bit. I could put it right there. I think I will. I think I will. It's already got a glue dot on it. However, I think the glue dots, oh, it's on this side. There we go. Perfect. Already had that done. Can you believe that? So if I wanted to use, let's see, I could use these or these. Oh, I think, I think the butterflies would look good. What do you think? Butterflies or Oh, sorry about that. I could use the butterflies or these. This is the iridescent pastel gems. Hmm. Those are awfully pretty, but I think I'm always looking for opportunities to use my butterflies so that I've used them up when they retire. Okay. I'm going to get my, like a pick tool. Whoops. Let me see if that works. So, I'll use a big one right here. Oh, yeah, the butterflies really work well. And I'll use a little one, or a medium one, down here. And maybe a little one up here. All right. I like that. I like that a lot. I could actually put a couple of butterflies in here. It wouldn't hurt a thing. They're flat. All right. There we go. We did another one. That was fast, huh? <laughs> That's pretty fast, huh, Kay? All right. Well, here we have it. Let me get our cards out that we've done. 
throw my trash away. Oh. All right. So we did this one. We've got this one. We've got this one. We've got this one. And we have our Halloween one. So all of these that we've done with our scenery paper. And I love, I love, love, love that when you open the card, you have the full scene. You have the full scene. I love that. Love, love, love it. All right. Well, I hope you will give this one a try. And I will put the measurements on my blog. It'll be on there in about mm, 30 minutes. And you can go to the blog and get the, in, the measurements and everything you need to make these cards. So I hope, I hope you'll try this. You can see how easy it is. I didn't even plan to do that one. But um, they're so easy to put together. And, oh, don't they display the paper beautifully. Just beautifully. I love the way they do that. All right. Well, that is all I have for today. If you are anywhere in this area, I'm having a buy one, get one. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And what that means is you will come. You'll come to my home. I will have my retired stamps and dies marked at half price and packets of um, designer series paper, six by six designer series paper marked very reasonable. Um, whatever you purchase from the retired products or the paper, then if you place an order from the new holiday catalog for that same amount, you will get all of those products free. So I would love for you to come do a make and take, um, visit with friends, get a catalog if you don't already have one, and um, and get some get some free products. So that's next Saturday. Um, what is that? Fifteen the twenty third. The 23rd of September. Right. There it is. All right. So, um, come join us if you're anywhere in the area. It'll be from 1 to 4 in the afternoon, September 23rd. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the replay, if you are, and the, and the YouTube. Um, thank you so much for doing that. Thanks, Kay, for being here with me. I love it when you're, when you're on with me. All right. You have a great weekend, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.